Here we go, your entry that we serve these uh, anchovies. On the bottom, you have uh, bread that we've cooked uh, under pressure. Then, on top, you have these anchovies with some uh, parsley on top, and we finish off with midollo reato on top as well. Thank you. We follow here with our interpretation of asparagus. We have this asparagus cream, uh, slightly mixed with some truffles. Uh, the egg yolk that we cooked on the royal, and then uh, is served on the side with our mixed salad from our garden. Thank you very much. So this is a canestrelli water. Uh, we make like uh, with uh, all the um, inside of the canestrelli. Canestrelli is like a small uh, scallop from the Adriatic Sea. And then we did this uh, sauce with some shallot white wine and uh, the little scallop trip. Uh, then we're gonna put some pepper. This is a carbonara sauce, seafood carbonara sauce. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, you're gonna drain the pasta, the paccheri. We is our homemade paccheri. We do with the five uh, ancient durum uh, from my garden, and then every year, every season, we do the flour for the bread and also for the pasta. This is a sea urchin, raw. Uh, we do with the Santo Reggio, it's like, it's like a thyme, between a thyme and rosemary. We do like a pesto and then we put a sea urchin. This is gonna give a, like a, a sea flavor and also ground flavor because of the Santo Reggio. Santo Reggio is like a thyme. Then this is a, the baby scallop, okay? The baby scallop, uh, Uh, canestrelli ok, so we're gonna give uh, like around 8-10 minutes depends how much al dente we want then we're gonna finish the uh, to cook it on the pan uh, first the canestrelli uh, water Then he gonna add uh, the egg yolk, mix with, mix, I mean, uh, cook it with some uh, onion and skenal, that is the bacon I told you before. Okay, so we're gonna cook it slow for about like one minute in the canestrelli water. Then he gonna add the sauce, the uh, bacon uh, yolk sauce, yeah, to make the carbonara and then cook it for another two minutes in the sauce. Once it become creamy, and nice, uh, thick, at the end, at the very the end, you're gonna put the canestrelli raw. So it, it's like, you don't cook it really. I mean, you keep it like kind of raw. Uh, everybody silence. Non parlare ragazzi, se non c'è troppo silenzio, è scary, è scary. Sono scary, lo
Andreo. Andreo. Mm. Andreo. Okay, signore. Allora lo tengo in calda. Questo via qua? Sì. Some breadcrumb to give the crispy part that with the pasta with sauce is always nice. But the other two piatti? The other two are four, guys. Okay, do you have a little bit? Let's go. The other two piatti? What is it? 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 Mi hai fatto vedere che tagli una fetta di bacon, vero? No, mi aveva guardato solo le cose. Okay. Sotto. Sauce, the coral from the chiudi la porta, chiudi la porta, chiudi la porta, quell'altra, perché le giorni? Andiamo? Ok, finisci. Follow me here with your pakere with a uh, fish piece on the bottom, a carbonara fish piece, and then you're gonna have some uh, slightly spiced olive oil on top with a uh, scallop pesto, and then on top we finish up with some crispy bacon as well. So it is a rosé wine from uh, Sicily, uh, Tenuta Fessina is the name of the vineyard and it's called Esse. Um, it, the vineyard basically grows in uh, between two valleys, uh, like a volcanic valley, so the soil is quite dry, uh, a lot of rocks, perfect for this kind of wine, so a lot of acidity, not too strong, not too invasive with a lot of uh, like fruit notes coming out very nicely and uh, I mean, it's a really nice glass, glass of wine that you can enjoy even for aperitif time. Thank you very much, enjoy. time of the year, the spring moment, is the time that we have the white herbs. So we're going to do a risotto with white herbs, uh, some sprout uh, inside, and then we're going to put some uh, langoustine, scampi, uh, frog, and um, a bit of marrow bone toasted uh, on the top. Normally, you have to toast it until it's really, really hot, so at least one minute. And then we, we, we feel it with the hand when it's ready, when it's really hot. You have to, to 
fill it with your finger. Then uh, some chicken stock, and we're gonna cook it straight about 12 minutes. Then at the end, put uh, all the white herbs. I was the packaging. We cook it almost until the end, and then uh, before to take it out, we're gonna put all the herbs. Otherwise, if we cook it too much, uh, they lose the chlorophyll, the, the green, the green part. Uh, gonna reduce, then we add stock, then reduce, then add stock. This is how it works, the risotto. We sacrifice one and a half uh, frog for you, okay? So what is it? After gonna find the traduction of these herbs, translation for you. Acqua di mare, cipollina. Questo lo vai a passare il camado per vedere. Sì. So this is the marrow bone. I'm gonna put in your risotto uh, with the frog and the scampi. Fa uno che toglie il ghiaccio da sotto moto, Giorgio. Uno mattia che filtra l'olio del capretto. Il contenitore è dentro al mio frigo. Allora, tu mescola, dai chiò. Vieni qua. Mescola. Io non so parlare d'amore. It's important with the butter and everything. Then we're gonna fry the frog. So, yeah, this is the frog leg. 
and then inside the risotto we put already the the body of the um, frog. I mean, we, we take all the chair out and then we put inside the risotto when while it was like uh, mixing it, mantecare. Yeah. Fight. So now you're gonna play it up. flower from the spring, you know, the yellow, how you call it, yellow tea? Why are there a traduttore? Okay. Dente di leone, tarassaco, lupolo. Blossom. Come si dice tarassaco in inglese? Lo sai? Tarassaco. Come? Dandelion, it's a blossom, dandelion blossom sauce, the, the yellow one. We're gonna give you the frog. Nessuno accetta il primo. Ah? Quello per lui. Okay. So it's your frog. Then we're gonna put some uh, peperone crusco powder. Yes, which one? Well, it's your question. Et voila. We follow here with your Rizzi Bizzi and uh, frogs. Uh, so we have this Rizzo Carnaroli that it's uh, cooked with some uh, beans cream. And then on the side you have this aglio, um, olio all'aglio orsino. And then in the middle we finish off with some uh, cured scampi with the uh, uh, maldeolin uh, cream on top and it's finished off with these uh, occhio della madonna flowers to give a little bit of bitterness to the uh, dish. Enjoy!
So this is a 90 days dry age Canina Costata. Costata because it's without the fillet. Then we put some uh, oil. Then we go to the barbecue. And we sear every side about seven minutes. Turn, turn, turn. 25 minutes ready. Keep it rest for at least 15 minutes. Then make it hot and then slice it. So it's important to cook around 250, 300. And we put some wood. The top of the top is the cherry wood. Now the other side, seven minutes. So, we nice here. Then we're gonna rest it. Keep it warm, cover. So it's a grape juice with dates. And we're gonna put it on the top, and then before to slice, soak it on it, and put it back on the on the BBQ. Vai, 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 vai. Stasera ce l'hai già? Eh? Scalda? Extra vicino li vuoi? Let's go! Moist, 
juice. Okay. We are following here with your tagliata of canina. It's served with some aromatic herbs on the side with prugnole mushrooms. And then on the top I will finish it off with the canina sauce as well. Okay. Thank you. This is Kuli, marshmallow with uh, roses. Dry. Giovanni lo sai cosa mi serve adesso? This is Yuba. Is uh, what's this? Skin of uh, milk. Pado. So here we go, your uh, Chloe dessert in honor to the uh, owner daughter. We've got this uh, macaron rosé with some wild berries, strawberries and uh, milk crespella burned with some caramel on top and it's finished off with a strawberry foam on top as well. to finish off with coffees. We normally serve a carrot cake with mascarpone cream and a mandarin, uh, Japanese mandarin with a little mint leaf on top. And then we're following with this uh, chocolate garage with some coffee and janduya and a, a rum a gelatin on top. And we finish off with a uh, jujulina that we serve with some sesame seeds as well. Thank you. Enjoy.